When a mother is in treatment for a drug or alcohol addiction, it may mean she can't see her children on Mother's Day. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald shows us what a Nashville treatment center did for clients to make sure the day was still memorable. So this is where our clients eat. Working at a drug and alcohol treatment center. Typically there's long cafeteria style tables in here. Looks pretty different on Mother's Day. We do things to try and make it feel special, to kind of fill what is already a void. Morgan you know, Coiner and the Next Door team want the dozens of women in the building to know today they are where they should be. It's an investment in yourself when you start recovery. And by investing in yourself, you're also investing in your family. Like, who doesn't feel special when they get flowers, right? The women are getting bouquets, t-shirts, positive affirmations, and pre-stamped envelopes in honor of the holiday. You know, none of those things can replace missing your kids, missing your mom, but it's nice to be thought of. Morgan knows how difficult Mother's Day can be. I actually lost my own mother to an opioid overdose two years ago, so I know the tragic ending of so many of these stories. At 57, her mother, Linda, passed away. You know, after losing my own mom, what I say to people is if someone's alive, there's a chance for redemption. And we see the redemption stories here every day. It's also why today this daughter knows. It's nice to have a little bit of my mom with me when, whenever I go somewhere. So She too is yeah. right where she should be. I can't really think of a better way to remember my mom than through every single woman's story of the women who are here. In Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. Hannah, thank you. The Next Door helped more than 1,600 women in 2019 and more than 1,400 in 2020. If not for COVID, they say last year would have been a record year.